There are various forms of art. So how do you call all of these forms in the Dutch language? In this lesson, you will learn all about it. Hallo, lieve vrienden. So first of all, the word for art in Dutch is kunst. And artwork is kunstwerk. So if you would say, I like that piece of art, you will say, ik vind dat kunstwerk mooi. Someone who creates art, we call kunstenaar. And um, what types of art do we know then? So first of all, paintings. A painting in Dutch is schilderij. The one who paints paintings is called een schilder. My neighbor is a painter. Mijn buurman is een schilder. Um, a famous Dutch painter is Rembrandt. So in Dutch you would say, een beroemde Nederlandse schilder is Rembrandt. Or you can also place the name in the beginning. Rembrandt is een beroemde Nederlandse schilder. Drawing in Dutch is tekenen. Someone who draws is called tekenaar. And the pieces they draw is called tekening. So that is a beautiful drawing, you will say as dat is een mooie tekening. And to name an example, Anton Pieck is een beroemde Nederlandse tekenaar. A poet is called dichter. And the artwork they create are called gedichten. So I'm writing a poem. Ik schrijf een gedicht. Photography is in Dutch fotografie. And the one who is making photography as art is called fotograaf. So as an example, Mark Uyl is een beroemde Nederlandse fotograaf. Dance, of course, is also an art form. And the Dutch word for dance is the same word, only pronounced in Dutch, that is dans. The dancer is de danser. And the verb is dansen. So, I love dancing is ik hou van dansen. A sculpture is often called sculptuur or beeldhouwwerk. And uh, someone who creates sculptures is called beeldhouwer. If you want to go see art, you will often go to a museum. So the Dutch pronunciation of that word is museum. And um, if you want to say the office that I work in has a lot of beautiful artwork on the walls, you will say het kantoor waarin ik werk heeft veel mooie kunstwerken aan de muur. All right, those were the examples I wanted to give you. Keep re-listening this, keep practicing, and I'll see you in the next lesson. If this lesson was helpful, please give it a like and please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the bell icon so you won't miss a single lesson. Also, if you want to develop your Dutch proficiency even faster, reach out to me for private lessons by sending me a DM or an email. Tot ziens!